Yuki Onna, meaning snow woman in Japanese folklore, is a captivating spirit or yokai frequently featured in Japanese literature, films, and animation. Known by various names such as Yuki Musume, Snow Daughter, Yuki Onago, Snow Girl, and Yuki Joro, Snow Woman, this mythical entity is also referred to by names associated with icicles. In different regions, she has diverse monikers like Snow Sis, Snow Granny, or Snow Nanny, and Snowfall Witch, or Snowfall Hag. Originating from ancient folklores, Yukiona's presence can be traced back to the Muromachi period. In the Sogi Shokoku Monogatari by the Renga poet Sogi, there is an account of encountering a Yukiona in Echigo province, now Niigata prefecture. This historical reference indicates that the enchanting legends surrounding Yukiona have endured for centuries, creating a fascinating narrative within Japanese mythology. Yukiona emerges on snowy nights as a tall, striking woman adorned with long black hair and distinctive blue lips. Her otherworldly appearance includes skin so pale it borders on transparency, allowing her to seamlessly blend into the snowy landscape. This iconic depiction, famously captured in Lafcadio Hearn's Quiden, Stories and Studies of Strange Things, describes her as an ethereal figure donned in a white kimono. However, alternative legends portray her as nude, with only her face and hair contrasting against the pristine snow. Despite her supernatural beauty, Yuki Ona possesses eyes that instill terror in mortals. A haunting detail in her portrayal is her ability to move across the snow without leaving any footprints, a trait shared with many Japanese ghosts. Some stories even claim she lacks feet altogether. Furthermore, when faced with danger, Yuki Ona can undergo a remarkable transformation, turning into a billowing cloud of mist or snow, adding an extra layer of mystique to her character. If you enjoy the content on our channel, consider subscribing to the Mythical Mug Tavern. Your support means a lot to us. Now let's continue. Yukiona, a captivating yokai, unfolds in diverse variations across Japan, each offering a unique narrative that could fill an entire book. Several notable versions include Water Beggars. In this rendition, Yukiona travels on the wind, making appearances on lightly snowfall days. Armed with a white gohei wand, she approaches individuals, requesting water, whether hot or cold. Strikingly, if offered cold water, she swells in size, while hot water causes her to melt and vanish. The Moon Princess This variation portrays Yukiona as the princess of the lunar world, residing on the moon. Bored with her opulent yet monotonous life, she descends to Earth, becoming stranded. She materializes on full moon snowy nights, yearning for her distant home. The Snow Vampire. Found in multiple Japanese provinces, this version depicts Yukiona as a fearsome snow vampire haunting snowy forests. Her sustenance comes from sucking the vital energy, or Siki, from human bodies. Victims are frozen to death before she extracts their Siki through the deceased's mouth, with a particular penchant for the Siki of children, warranting caution for mothers in Niigata. The Talking Snow Women. In this iteration, Yuki Ona engages her victims in conversation as a precursor to an attack. If greeted and acknowledged on a dark, snowy night, she strikes. Conversely, in Fukushima and Ibaraki, ignoring her prompts an attack, where she seizes and hurls the disregarding individuals into nearby ravines. The multifaceted nature of Yukiona in Japanese folklore unfolds through various legends. Often considered the spirit of one who perished in the snow, she embodies both beauty and serenity, juxtaposed with a ruthless streak when it comes to unsuspecting mortals. Historically depicted as uniformly evil until the 18th century, contemporary narratives often portray her as a more human-like figure, emphasizing her ghostly essence and transient allure. 
Yuki Ono's encounters with travellers trapped in snowstorms are recurrent motifs in many stories. Employing her icy breath, she transforms them into frost-coated corpses, or alternatively, she leads them astray to succumb to exposure. Some tales depict her holding a child, a ploy that freezes well-intentioned souls in place when attempting to assist. Parents searching for lost children are particularly vulnerable to this tactic. More aggressive versions of the legend involve Yukiana invading homes, using a gust of wind to enter and kill residents in their sleep, sometimes requiring an invitation first. Her motives vary across tales. At times, she is content merely witnessing a victim's demise, while in other instances, she adopts a more vampiric role, draining blood or life force. Some narratives portray her with a succubus-like demeanor, preying on weak-willed men through intimate encounters to drain or freeze them with a kiss. Despite her ominous reputation, Yukiona exhibits a softer side, occasionally sparing would-be victims for diverse reasons. In one popular legend, she releases a young boy due to his beauty and age, extracting a promise of silence. Later, when he breaks his vow to his wife, who reveals herself as Yuki Ona, she spares him again out of concern for their children. Another legend features her departure to the afterlife after her husband discovers her true nature. In some versions, Yuki Ona chooses to remain with her husband and children as long as the secret remains within their familial circle. One of the best known stories of Yuki Ona is the Lafcadio Hearns version. Long ago, in a time of snowstorms and chilling isolation, two woodcutters, Minokichi and the elderly Mosaku, sought refuge in a mountain hut. As the winter night unfolded, Minokichi awoke to a surreal scene, a beautiful lady draped in white garments. The mysterious woman exhaled an icy breath onto Mosaku, claiming his life in a frozen embrace. Turning her attention to Minokichi, the lady hesitated after a prolonged gaze and uttered, I thought I was going to kill you, the same as that old man, but I will not because you are young and beautiful. You must not tell anyone about this incident. If you tell anyone about me, I will kill you. Several years later, Minokichi encountered a captivating young woman named Oyuki, Snow, and eventually married her. Their union was blessed with happiness, and despite the passing years, Oyuki remained ageless, a mystery that added to the enchantment of their lives together. One fateful night, with their children peacefully asleep, Minokichi couldn't contain his thoughts any longer. He recounted the strange encounter from his youth, wondering if it was a mere dream or if the woman he met was indeed a Yuki Ona. To his astonishment, Oyuki rose abruptly, revealing the truth. That woman you met was me, I told you that I would kill you if you ever told anyone about that incident. However, I can't kill you because of our children. Take care of our children, she declared, before melting away, disappearing forever. Now, let's see other stories that feature Yuki Ona. In the ancient legends of the Ojia region in Niigata Prefecture, a strikingly beautiful woman arrived to visit a man and, driven by her own desires, chose to become his wife. However, a peculiar aspect of her nature surfaced when she displayed reluctance to enter the bath. Despite insistence when compelled to go in, she mysteriously vanished, leaving behind nothing but delicate, fragmented icicles gently floating in the air. In the regions of Aomori and Yamagata prefectures, a parallel legend unfolds featuring a figure known as the Shigama Ona. In the Kaminoyama area of Yamagata, this Yuki Ona would visit an elderly couple on snowy nights, seeking warmth by their ivory. Intriguingly, when she embarked on her journey late at night, the old man, attempting to hold her hand to prevent her departure, discovered a bone-chilling coldness about her. Before his eyes, the girl transformed into a whirl of snow, vanishing through the chimney. Notably, this tale shares similarities with the Kokakucho. During blizzards, the Yuki Ona would stand cradling a child, known as Yukinko, and beckon passers-by to embrace the child. 
Those who obliged found the child growing increasingly heavier until they were enveloped in snow, succumbing to a freezing demise. Refusal, on the other hand, purportedly led to being forcibly shoved into a snowy valley. In the ancient town of Hirosaki in Aomori, a courageous warrior once found himself in a perilous encounter with a Yuki Ona. Tasked with embracing a child similarly, the warrior, armed with a short sword, Tanto, devised a clever strategy. He skillfully cradled the child, positioning the blade near the youngster's head, deftly avoiding the supernatural consequences. Upon returning the child to the Yuki Ona, the benevolent spirit expressed gratitude by bestowing numerous treasures upon the valiant warrior. Legend has it that individuals who withstand the progressively increasing weight of the Yukinko, enduring until the very end, are granted extraordinary physical strength as a reward for their resilience. In the inner region of Nagano Prefecture, the Yuki Ona assumes the local name Yuki Onba. Folklore tells of their manifestation on snowy nights, adopting the guise of a Yama Uba. Similarly, in Yoshida, Ehime Prefecture, the presence of a Yukinba is feared on snowy evenings, prompting caution among locals who ensure their children remain indoors. Venturing to the Tono region of Iwate Prefecture, it's recounted that during the observance of Little New Year, Koshogatsu, or the 15th day of the first month, a Yuki Ona leads a gathering of children to frolic in the fields. This prompts a warning to children against venturing outdoors during such times. This narrative underscores the common association between Yuki Ona and Yama Uba, both sharing the characteristic of fertility and a tendency to accompany numerous children in their otherworldly pursuits. In the vicinity surrounding the Kumano River in Yoshino district, Nara Prefecture, a spectral entity known as Oshiroi Ba-san, or Oshiroi Baba, is perceived as a variant of the Yuki Ona. Folk tales recount their eerie presence, characterized by the dragging of mirrors that emit distinctive clinking sounds. Intriguingly, these characteristics, wielding a white wand, gohai, and possessing a mirror, evoke parallels with the traits attributed to Amiko, a priestess serving a mountain god presiding over themes of birth and harvest. The enigmatic connection between the Yuki Ona and the Miko hints at a mystical interplay between the supernatural and the sacred. In Iwate and Miyagi prefectures, the Yuki Ona is believed to siphon away people's vitality, draining them of life force. In Niigata prefecture, a more chilling aspect is attributed to them. They are rumored to extract children's livers and induce death by freezing. In the quaint village of Nishimonai, Akita prefecture, gazing upon a Yuki Ona's visage and engaging in conversation with her is perilous, leading to a gruesome fate of being consumed. Journeying to Ibaraki Prefecture, an Iwaki province in Fukushima Prefecture, a unique cautionary tale emerges. Failure to respond to a Yuki Ona's call results in a forceful descent into the depths of a valley. In Fukui Prefecture, they are referred to as Koshi Musume, passing girl, and local law warns that turning one's back on a Koshi Musume's call invites a similar fate of being pushed into the ominous depths of a valley. The varied manifestations of Yuki Ona across regions underscore the diverse and eerie nature of these supernatural entities. Within the bounds of Ibigawa, nestled in Ibi district, Gifu prefecture, an unseen menace known as the Yukinobo is whispered to have the ability to morph into the form of a Yuki Ona. Tales tell of this elusive creature's deceptive visits to mountain huts, where it adopts the guise of a Yuki Ona and seeks a seemingly innocuous request for water. However, local wisdom warns against fulfilling this request for those who comply risk facing a dire fate at the hands of the Yuki Nobo. Instead, the prudent course of action is to offer hot tea as a safeguard against the potential malevolence lurking behind the guise of the Yuki Ona. The ancient tales surrounding Yuki Ona are steeped in sorrow, originating from the yearnings of individuals leading somber lives, 
such as childless elderly couples or solitary men in mountain hamlets. The melancholic stories often began when these individuals, nestled in their quiet abodes, heard the haunting echoes of a blizzard rapping on their shuttered doors. In the solitude of their longing, they would envision the fulfillment of their deepest desires, fleeting as the transient beauty of falling snow. These narratives reflect a poignant juxtaposition, the cherished desires standing back to back with an unsettling sense of fear. In winter, a season marked by the divine visitation of gods, the cautionary undertone becomes even more pronounced. Despite the allure of fulfilling one's desires, the belief persists that neglecting to pay respects to these supernatural forces may lead to dire consequences. Hence, the intertwining of longings and fear in these tales is deeply rooted in the cyclical rhythm of the seasons. And there you have it. If you enjoy our content, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you, and save travels, my dear friends.